Hello folks and welcome Debian 12 XFCE desktop Debian 12 bookworm. I have a, another subscriber request. Subscriber was watching a different video of mine wanting to know how to rearrange the furniture as far as the time and date elements. You know we have people all over planet Earth using Linux and uh, people speak different languages but they also like different ways of formatting the time and date. As you can see this one says 21 July and in the United States a lot of people like to see July 21 as a, just one example. So anyway subscriber wasn't too clear on how to do that so hence I'm making another video about this for Debian 12 Bookworm XFCE desktop filming in 1080. Adjust your YouTube player accordingly. Welcome folks. Subscription key is in the corner if you're not a subscriber roughly 400 videos and growing. I, I also have a text document here and it may look cryptic to you but I also suggest after you do this kind of stuff is you save these things into a text file so you can use them later for multiple purposes. Right click properties help read online. All right xfce panel clock documents at xfce.org you can read a lot of information here and you can be in here for a while but more importantly you also have some elements down here they have symbols and uh, basically things that are put together for you they have percent symbols like the percent h is like the 24 hour clock and the I is the 12 hour. You also have percent R, which is a 24 hour and minute, same as H and M together in a single element instead of two, because you have the M and the I and the H to give you that example. I also have a website to show you that you can build your own. That's where these symbols came from. I built them on a website, then I imported them into here. So let's first talk about this box. Besides the time zone and calendar command, we go to appearance. We're talking digital. That's normally how this thing is set up. We have time only, which we can start with the date and time. You have the font, which is normally 8, filming in 1080, is very small. I changed that to 14. For the date, I also changed the time to a 14, so it's a little bit bigger. Now this is kind of redundant looking because I'm mixing it. So what I can do is also go through the standard menus. All right, so whatever you do, if you're doing a custom format, you can always, um, in case you make a mess of things, switch this over to standard formats. So you never have to worry about screwing that up, as one would say messing it up. All right, so what I'm going to select here to make it simple for you is time only, custom format, custom format. So currently it just says R on it, which is a mixture of what again? It's a mixture of the 24 hour clock and the, and the minutes, percent R. I can also do it this way, percent H, colon, percent M. I could do it many different ways. Now let me show you a website here. Uh, where's the web browser at? So I already showed you the help one. This is something you may want to write down because you're not going to find it anywhere here in Debian 12. So I'm just waiting for this thing to connect. I'm just trying to get it to connect. So um, Mike has had this web page up for a very long time. It's for goodsturftime.com. I always like that. <laughs> thought it was a humor. It's a great, great sense of humor. Uh, Sturftime.com. So uh, basically, uh, we're talking sturf time elements. So Mike has put together a reference library here of just the general ones. Okay. So you may actually refer to the help one also for some other symbols. But uh, we can also talk about build your own. So if you're brand new to the game of building these things, uh, this is your, your best friend. There's also presets. 
I'll just click on this one right here and you'll see those symbols. Highlight that, control A, or just take your mouse and drag it across, copy that. Right click, copy that, then paste them in here. The result is immediate. Okay, so that has three symbols, the percent M, percent D, and percent Y. You can see them in here. Now, we're going to build our own. So I'm going to wipe this box clean. We're going to start from scratch. So I'm using digital time only custom format as an FYI. I have both of these open so I can see that I'm at 130%. So this is normally 100%. Okay. I'm just making it larger for you. So you can drag these elements in any order you want. Keep in mind, um, folks all over planet Earth are using Linux and they like these formulas a little differently. So whatever your thing is, I'm going to use Monday, which is percent %A. If this is covering up your next element, just click out right here. Do you want July 1st or the month? Day of the month, sorry, day of the month or the month first? I'm just going to put July in here, which is percent %B. Click out for a second and the day of the month. So I have three elements. The day of the week, even though it says Monday, it's Sunday today. Okay. And uh, more importantly, I will uh, continue now. So I have um, the next element, maybe time. Again, your choice, percent I. That's the 12 hour. If you put a percent R manually, that will be a 24 hour clock. Or a percent H is also a 24 hour clock. So yeah, there's several different symbols for this. Uh, no, not month number, minute of the hour. Yes, that's a percent M. I could put it up there. But I am going to put it here, just to give you that example. Now, I could also fix a lot of things in here, like put in spaces and dashes and uh, those two dots in between the minutes. But I'm going to do that later, just for good practice. What's the next element? The meridian, since we're dealing with a 12-hour clock, percent I. The meridian is an uppercase in this case. So I'm going to throw that here, small percent P. There's also a big percent P which gives me a lowercase am and pm. That's even more confusing. Seconds, don't need it. Day of the week, no. Two year digit, no. Four year digit, yes. I think I'm done. All right, now how do I put this in here? Well, you click in this field, you either use a control A, which selects everything, or take your computer mouse, drag it either forward or backwards, it doesn't really matter. As long as you highlight everything, right click, and copy that. Right click and copy that. And then click in your clock properties format box under custom and paste it in there and it's already formatted how you had it in here. We're going to take it a little bit further and explain some things. If I don't want that Sunday to be full day and I wanted SUN, I would remove the A with a small a. Replace the capital A with a small a, produces S-U-N instead of Sunday. I'm going to remove that again, and you'll notice the box went red. So, uppercase A gives me the full name. I'm going to put a comma there. So it puts Sunday, comma, July 21. Do you want it to be uh, 21 July? That's okay, we can deal with that. So uh, basically, I'm going to replace the B with a small e and the small e with a B. I'm just going to transpose those two. Small e, big B, 21 July. All right, typing that stuff in here, by the way, it's not the right way to do it. Uh, I've heard somebody wanted to actually just type in that in there. Well, that doesn't change. The reason for these elements is these will change on a daily basis. That's the whole purpose of these things. Yeah, somebody left me a really silly message the other day, which I thought was kind of weird. 
Anywho, it's moving along. Um, do you want any spaces in here? If you don't, then remove them and uh, you can only remove X amount of spacing. So that I'm stuck with that right there. All right, so, but I, I'm gonna do the percent I with uh, two dots in the middle of this. If you don't know where to find those two dots, uh, look for your enter key on your keyboard and uh, look at the key, two keys left of your enter key. It normally is where your colon is, the two dots in other words. Hit the shift key and it'll produce that. Now I have an extra space in here. So um, I want to remove that between the two dots and the percent symbol. And that just formatted this correctly. All right, the meridian, if I can say that word, the meridian is the M and PM indicator with a percent small p. If you want the lower case, you actually change the um, to a big P and that'll give you the lower case PM. It's just the opposite of what you think it is. All right, I'm gonna convert that back and then I'm gonna put a dash in there. I'm gonna first put a space and dash. So I'll have Sunday, 21 July, 5.31 p.m. dash 2024. Now it'd be a good idea to um, make you understand saving these things could be a good idea. Right click on your desktop, create an empty file. I created this one and then I renamed it Stirf Time just so I know what that is. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click in here and do a control A and then right click and do a copy and then I'm gonna paste that in there. So now I have this, all these elements that are currently working up here copied into a text document. Then you can add your own notes. I usually put a pound symbol and type in whatever, you know, whatever the thing is, blah, blah, blah. Notes, in other words, on what that is. And then save it. Okay. So again, these are just different elements that you can build from here. As you get more proficient, you may just want to look at the reference boxes, whether it's this one or this one. All right, let's do that one more time. There we go. And then downstairs are the formulas, as one would say, the symbols and what they mean. Whatever you do, you know, if you mess this thing up, you can always go back to standard formats. So no matter how much of a mess you make, you can always go back to standard formats. And keep in mind, when you do all that kind of stuff and you remove the custom format, and you didn't save that, you may have to build them yourself again. Also, what is good to have this, uh, what, what's the good, um, yeah, one more time. Um, the reason this uh, is a good idea is because in case you also reinstall your system. Or you can take this file and maybe set up another Debian 12 machine. But in either case, you can have these or you can convert them back almost instantaneously when you have these. So I'm currently at that and I'm going to replace it. Or if I want that long one here, you can see I can just do this in a couple of seconds. After I get all this stuff set up. So you build it, you copy it to a text file and you keep that text file. This text file, by the way, is very small. It's 395 bytes. Fits on USB sticks nicely. I also recommend that you uh, go check out my backup videos, either using uh, TAR, Tape Archive, Compressed Tape Archive, R-Sync. There's all kinds of different ways of backing up your system. More importantly, now you know how to customize these elements. Make it uh, your own, as one would say. Thank you for watching.